Bumble has lost a lot of love from shareholders this month. Shares of the dating app company are down more than 20% after a quarterly earnings report on November 10 gave some investors cold feet. The ensuing sell-off pushed the stock to the lowest point since its buzzy IPO in February, and shaved more than $200 million from the fortune of founder and CEO Whitney Wolf Heard. The 32-year-old Wolf Heard became the world's youngest self-made woman billionaire, worth $1. 5 billion. When Bumble went public earlier this year, shares closed that day at $70.31. She owns 21% of the company, plus she has about $100 million from the sale of a portion of her ownership to private equity firm Blackstone in 2020, according to her family office. That makes Wolf Heard worth just over $1 billion at Friday's closing price of $36.38 per share. So what has investors ghosting Bumble, at least for now? For the first time since its IPO, the company posted a decline in overall user growth in its third quarter results, with total paying users dropping to 2.87 million in the three months through September, down from 2.93 million in the prior quarter. Most affected was Bumble's other dating app, Badoo, which is popular outside the US. Badoo's usership fell more than 8% compared to the prior quarter and its revenue declined 3% year over year, to $57 million. Wolf Heard attributed the drops to the ongoing influence of the pandemic overseas, along with a payment issue affecting Android devices that she said management is working to fix. As we said last quarter, Badoo operates in a large number of markets where the pandemic is still a significant challenge. The shortfall was only made worse by the record 800 new paid customers reported by Match Group for its dating app rival Tinder the week prior. Though a much larger company and servicing a more international market, Carpenter explains Tinder's results raised the bar for Bumble. Match does X, so we expect Bumble to do Y, he says. Nonetheless, Carpenter labeled the damage to Bumble's stock overblown. The Bumble app still saw its revenue rise 39% year over year, to $142.5 million. Overall, the company came in ahead of Wall Street expectations, too, with total revenue of $201 million for the quarter, and it raised its full-year revenue forecast as a result. Its net loss was $10.7 million, down from $22.8 million in the year earlier, but still more than double analysts' predictions of a $4.7 million loss 